always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. So watching these showers and storms blossom over West Michigan, you can see that they're following a pretty clear-cut line here, diving south of Hastings. The reason why is we have some drier air that's moving in from the north, and it's helping to keep these showers confined. There's a tight moisture gradient, so the showers and storms are going where they can continue to form. That's why they're missing some spots. For example, Grand Rapids, you might see a little bit of rain in the city proper, but most of it is going to be falling in. Places like Coldwater, Vicksburg, Portage, Kalamazoo, areas that already saw a lot of rain. Portage, for example, picking up a good two to three inches, depending on which side of town you're on last night. Here's Storm Track Live zoomed out. Notice the storm intensity is lesser the further north you are, and this will likely push into places like Port Sheldon and Grandville, but it's a much lighter rain that we'll be seeing, obviously, in comparison to these thunder showers to the south. They look intense, but we're not going to be seeing any severe winds or hail or tornado threat from these, just rain. That's why flood alerts have been issued instead of severe thunderstorm warnings. You can see the system in holes still tracking towards us, so we've got a ways to go before it finally passes. Passes through and then fizzles and dissipates. This is going to give us a lot of cloud runoff for tomorrow as well. Here are temperatures 78 in Grand Rapids, 75 in Allegan, where there's a bit more rain. Dew points still really muggy in the 60s, even the 70s. That's why as these showers pass through and then for tomorrow morning, expect the muggy feel to continue. Here's tonight at 3 a.m. Notice the winds coming in out of the north and the northeast. That's helping to keep the areas of showers off to the south. As we work through Wednesday, we should see the cloud runoff and then some clearing in the afternoon, allowing us to see some sunshine, making it partly sunny at times, even hot feeling with a bit of humidity. Thursday, 82, chance of a shower or storm winds out of the east. Things should be pretty easy to take out at Lake Michigan. Uh, again, a bit of sunshine from time to time tomorrow, but at times as well, it might be just a bit cloudy. Next couple of days, watch for a pop-up shower or storm at any time. But once you get to Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you can see sunshine returning, pleasant conditions, and then more rain next week for those of you that have been shortchanged even with these last two batches.